guys, how's it going? Markel here, disabled American veteran living in Colombia, back with another quick video. So this is something that I was asked recently by a friend of mine who wanted to know, uh, how am I doing telehealth here in Colombia? Now, for those of you who don't know, telehealth is a service that is author offered either by your doctor or your psychiatrist where you can do a video conference instead of you actually being in the office, okay? Uh, I primarily do it with my psychiatrist. And as most of you all know from the title, I'm living here currently in Medellin, Colombia, uh, which is in South America, not in the USA. So how am I still able to do my teleconferences? Okay, well, I am still signed up uh, at my local VA, uh, which is in Phoenix, Arizona. And they have a department that you can go to to let them know that you live abroad. And it is not an issue as long as you go back to the hospital and be seen at least one time in a two year period, you will not have a problem, okay? Now I was just seen earlier this year in prosthetics in February, okay? So, and I was supposed to have an appointment in April, on April 28th. Obviously that didn't happen because of the virus and it got moved to October. So I will be back in Phoenix in October to go to an appointment there with my primary healthcare doctor. But the thing about it is, and this is something that you guys need to do, if you're gonna be a traveler and you wanna keep your primary care and your psychiatrist in the States, is communicate with them and let them know what's going on. Everyone at the VA that, that I associate with knows where I live, okay? They know my situation. They know where I am. So if they have a question, they have two numbers they can call. They can call my American number and they can call my number here locally because I have a South American number as well. Now, let's go over how I'm able to do the teleconference. You can easily tell them that you want to continue seeing your psychiatrist via teleconference. They can set that up as long as your psychiatrist agrees to it, which most of them will right now. And say you don't have a device that you can use in order to uh, do the service, like your cell phone screen is not good enough and you don't have a computer, they will give you a uh, iPad. You have to ask for it though. You gotta let them know, hey, I don't have a device I can use to do the teleconference. They will give you a basic iPad, not an iPad Air, not an iPad Pro, a basic 2019 or 2020, I don't know which one it is, I think it's 2019, basic 9.7 inch iPad, which you can do your teleconference uh, sessions with. And the sessions normally only last 10 to 15 minutes at the most. Most of the time it's about 15 minutes and I can run down real quick what she asked. She asked, how you doing? Are you having any issues? Uh, did you receive your medication? Do you need to reorder medications? You talk for a little bit and then you're done, okay? I usually get a teleconference every month, once every month. Uh, as far as the doctor, because of what happened with the virus, I've had two sessions with my primary care doctor, also in Phoenix, Arizona, okay? So one of the things though you're gonna need when you leave the US and you come to a country like this is a US VPN number. What is a VPN number? A VPN number is basically your number is the number for whatever device you're using. I can't use my phone because I'm recording with it. <laughs> is a, is a uh, number for whatever device you're using address. So like my phone that I have right here, I bought in the US. It has a US VPN number. If I bought a phone here and then I tried to use it there, it would not work because it does not have a VPN number it recognizes. So if you're going to live overseas, you want to make sure you at least keep an American VPN number where you have separate service that you're not relying on the country's Wi-Fi in order to do it. Because if you're using the country's Wi-Fi, it will not work. Okay, it's gonna tell you all kinds of things, but it won't work. You're gonna need to have service uh, with an American VPN number. That way, when they call, you can use a hotspot from your American cell phone to your iPad and you can do it that way. That's the way I have to do it here. Uh, I've tried several times to use the local Wi-Fi. It will not work. 
So whenever they call me, I go get my American phone that I still have service with, which is Google Fi. And then I use the hotspot, hook it up to my MacBook Pro, and I have my session that way, okay? Hopefully this information helped you guys out. Until the next time, guys, I am out. Peace. You ladies and gentlemen, have a great day.